I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Alloys versus Compounds. All right, so when we're talking about alloys, we're really meaning that we have a mixture, and that means that we have two or more different types of atoms or molecules that haven't bonded to each other, they're just mixed together. So if we have a really traditional alloy, we can think of as bronze. So if you look up bronze in the periodic table, it's not there. Um, and that's because it's an alloy, which means that it's a mixture. And bronze happens to be a mixture between tin and copper, which are both on the periodic table. And so and if you have your little uh, diagram here of how the molecules of bronze would look, uh, you're going to have some tins, Sn, you're going to have some coppers, Cu, but they're not bonded to each other. They're just hanging out in the mixture. Uh, and that's different than a compound, which is completely pure of one type of molecule. So a compound we're all familiar with is water. And we might also know that the chemistry way we say water is H2O. So now if we draw out a water molecule, It has these two bonds here, which are covalent bonds, which means that the oxygen atom shares its electrons with the hydrogen atom and vice versa. And so this is completely different than tin and copper, who are just kind of hanging out, versus water, which is bonded like officially, and you'd have to put a lot of energy in to have these two guys break up. Um, other examples of compounds are table salt, table salt uh, sodium chloride, um, and other examples of an alloy is steel. And so it's good to point out that another feature of an alloy is that one of the things you're mixing has to be a metal, which means that it comes from that middle section of the periodic table, the transition metals. Um, and so that's the difference. Remember that an alloy is two or more things, but they don't officially bond to each other. They're a mixture still. And a compound is just one type of thing. And if it is a molecule, not just an atom, it's going to be completely bonded to each other officially through covalent bonds, ionic bonds, any of, other, any of other type of bonds we have. Uh, I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been Alloys versus Compounds. Mm -hmm.